calculate days overdue. For this, we're going to use the today formula. We're going to say how many days has it been from the order date until today. It's quite a long time. <laughs> it's currently 2018, and these are showing 2015 dates. But I can do equals today. And today is a simple formula that has no inputs. Just open brackets and close immediately. Minus, and click on order date there. Press enter. And by default, it will give me a format as a date, whereas I want a number. But as we learned before, I can change that to a number by just clicking on the number formatting options. And now it's just like that. Once that's what I want, I can double click here. And it will show me the number of days. Uh, growth. So the growth column that's calculated is actually showing me some errors. The reason why it's showing me errors is because it's dividing this by this and then doing minus one. But when you divide by zero, the laws of mathematics say we can't do it. But really, from an Excel standpoint, it's not very practical to not do it. For example, if I want to sum these numbers, uh, it doesn't really give me the right answers there because it errors follow through in Excel but really I don't want to be punished for just having a new order type <laughs> so I'm going to use this amazing formula called if error you do equals if error and then you have two inputs value comma value if error now the easy way to do it is just do this comma zero because you want to replace an error with zero so I'm going to do that first and I'm going to say what I don't like it so I can drag that down and it works just fine. You can see it's replaced this with a zero. It's not showing me as a percent, so I'm gonna control shift percent and make them show as a percent there. This is what I want, but the problem is, normally when you have this kind of formula, you don't wanna have one with the error and one without. So if I delete this, it actually deletes and gets, makes all of these zero. So really what I want is to embed the actual formula of the calculation inside this value input. So here I'm actually going to do the calculation again, which is click on forecast divided by items ordered, and then minus one. So it still shows me the same number. Control D, auto fill down, and that works fine. And now I have the privilege of being able to select this and delete it. And it still works and shows me the right thing. Great.